It has come to life. Outlandish, unnecessary type of setup. This project had a little bit to do with Willie Do. He was working on it for a while. It's absolute madness. First up, the chair here is from Kluvens. They've been doing these kind of motorized type chairs for a while. This is the latest iteration. You can see it looks like a scorpion with the legs down on the bottom. Tail piece, which wraps around and holds your monitors. Now we have absolutely maxed this thing out. Five monitors set up and we were able to actually match the RGB on the back of these monitors with the RGB on the tail itself. So all the color matching is going on. It was actually kind of difficult to get all the cabling rigged up and the power. You see the way the power bricks are Velcroed on here. It's just a wild piece of madness to go with the madness that is the PC itself. These are the world's first 27 inch 4K 144 Hertz display. So they are gaming oriented displays from LG that have a crazy list of specs. And it's so wide oh, actually that it kind of almost feels like VR because your entire peripheral is filled with content. Now let's go ahead and recap the PC itself. It lets you have your important components on display for anybody who approaches completely open air design. So much nuance here and little details. Like for example, these power supplies, these ROG Thor power supplies, they have displays on the side which show the power consumption on each one at any given time. Replaced with the braided custom cables over here and the cable holders along the way the water blocks on top of the RTX 3090s, which are so hard to get your hands on right now. And this system actually has a dual setup. Of course, there's RGB as well on the RAM modules. We have liquid cooling, of course, on the CPU as well. The bottom section of three are stitched together inside the NVIDIA utility, and those are using the DisplayPort connection. So that is a pretty exotic resolution, and it's still at 144 Hertz. Maybe we should just show them what it is actually. G-Sync supported on the three which are stitched together on the bottom through the surround configuration as you can see right here. This, look at this powder coated power switch. It's a wireless power switch for the PC so you can have it actually on your desktop surface. Cool little touch. We've also got this little remote over here. It comes with a chair and it lets you control the intensity and color and there's also a few effects if you're insane. When the lights are off, this effect is even more extreme. The whole thing glows. It comes out of these cutouts. It's pretty cool and it's controlled via this particular remote right here. Now look at this little guy. This really do set that up for me. It's amazing. It's an actual little PC and it's capable of gaming. He actually installed Cyberpunk. It's crazy. So it's in full controller mode right now and that's Cyberpunk. Look, look, look. Cyberpunk can barely run on the old last gen game consoles, but here we have it on this cool little unit. So that's uh, kind of cool what they put together there. You're happy to play a little bit on the go, but you want to get back home because look at what you've got. All right, so I'm in, I'm home. This is where I live now. If, you, if I load up a game, a first person game, what ends up happening on the side monitors anyways is that creates this level of immersion. You're still looking here at the main display, but it feels like, well, like your own vision sort of your own peripheral vision. That's why I use that particular term. I feel like I'm close enough to this display to actually appreciate 4K at 27 inches as well. Now the keyboard, mouse and mouse mat, you can see they also all have RGB flavors. These are from a company called Vict Sing and they're actually having a giveaway right now on the website, 500 mechanical keyboards, like the one that's in front of me, RGB support. So go check them out in the description. Thanks to them as well for supporting this setup. Uh, some chilled cow. And you could have that up in one window over here. Look at this, nasdaq.com. Like this is obviously what I need to be looking at over here, see? I can also snap it, you know? I could just have it like that. Maybe I want the stocks over there. Yeah, you can have a little Twitter open over there. What I would do is just have a billion different browser windows most likely. If you were a video editor or a photo editor, you could have tools distributed across this variety of monitors and just kind of turn your head and 
and have access to it. So this little remote image of the Scorpion, I am now part of the Scorpion. This is gonna bring it down. Ah, uh, yes. Wow. That's kind of cool. All right, so a couple things I've learned on this particular system. There are some options that you have for how you choose to play a game. Now I have Cyberpunk loaded up here. It's obviously a very resource intensive game. Now, most people are gonna want a really high frame. Well, what everybody wants is a high frame rate and an immersive experience, high quality experience, ultra settings. Everybody wants everything is what I'm basically trying to say. But you do have to pick and choose what you're gonna go for, even when you're running 3090s for a title like this. So I'm just gonna launch into settings and show you what I'm talking about here. I have 3840 by 2160. I can go down and select these more exotic custom resolutions, including 11,520 by 2160. This is not all that many more pixels than 4K, but it is more work for the GPU. I could push for more quality and lose frames. I could push for more performance, but I've played around with this entire bar and trying to push this many pixels, it seems regardless of what I do, I can only push it five or six frames in either direction. Look at that. So, whoa. And this is the full resolution of each monitor. 11, over 11,000 pixels across, including my peripheral. 55, 56 frames, I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. So these are the optimal settings, full resolution across all three 4K monitors. That's kind of amazing. That PC back there running dual 3090s is silent. It's not making a peep right now. There's not a fan noise, nothing. So I think I would actually play this game in the windowed setting at the full res. What I might do just to get a few more frames is toggle a little bit further towards performance. So as you can see, some of the settings get altered here. Now there are obviously endless tweaks we could make to find our perfect scenario, but I'm around, I'm right locked on 60 at this point, and this is a tremendous experience for me. Could I turn even more stuff off and increase the frame rate further? Possibly, but in a game like this, do you really wanna do that? In a game like this, you kinda wanna experience the entire, you know, atmosphere and the detail and so forth and the resolution i feel like helps you do that the most so oh where'd he go is that a grenade oh i hit him through the through the I was gone for a minute. I was somewhere else. I was, but I liked it more than VR because sometimes you feel a little bit like too closed off, if that makes sense. Or I don't know. It just, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't played that much cyberpunk and I was immersed. I was deep. I was kind of getting in there a little bit and certainly the rig helped with it. Honestly, from my taste, I'm saying run the bottom three monitors full res and just tweak your performance setting to get around 60 frames. It's, it, man, I'm looking at the faces and I'm in tight and uh, it's, yeah, that's some pretty serious hardware right there. It is quite the combination. I got to give a shout out to absolutely everybody and everything involved from the Zydax PC, which I showed you in a previous video, just an absolute masterpiece with the dual 3090s. Of course, all the ROG components making things possible, the amazing water cooling setup by Carlos, the custom chassis by UL Beast, and then the monitors, which are just ridiculous for gaming monitors, never mind having five of them. You really need just one, I'm not gonna lie. One of these monitors, 4K, 144 Hertz, is a whole experience in and of itself. 
We got the accessories as well from Vixing. Of course, you gotta have a mechanical keyboard. And as mentioned earlier, they're giving away 500 units on their website, so go check that out. And then the chair, which is all connected to the Scorpion from Kluven. That's your setup. There's a couple other knickknacks. You got that USB hub from Anchor as well, and the sound box for sound. And of course, Willy Doo's little GPD mobile version of gaming on the go. But there it is. Maybe we'll do this again. Maybe we have other setups in mind, but that is the ultimate for the time being. Holy moly, I could lose some hours in there, no doubt.